So what do you think um, – what do you expect from Miles Garrett and Jim Schwartz defense? What's his ceiling? How, what, how high do you think he can go uh, with what Jim Schwartz wants to do? The question that we all want to know the answer to, can Miles Garrett get 20 sacks? Is he going to be a 20 sack guy? Now, we talk about this like it's arbitrary, but like it, it only has happened like three times or four, three or four times in the last like 20 in 10 years. So it's very rare that somebody is able to get 20 sacks. Um, and the question a lot of people have right now is, hey, is the help that he's going to have going to lower his sack number or or allow it to grow? Because there's one argument you can say is, hey, last year he was basically all the defensive line had. So any type of sack that was going to come from the defensive line, it had to be Miles Garrett. So every sack opportunity he took advantage of, and that's how he got to 16. You can also look at it from a different perspective. Since nobody else was creating any type of havoc in the backfield, Miles Garrett wasn't really able to clean up and get some of those extra sacks that a guy like TJ Watt is able to pick up. So I tend to believe there's some kind of middle ground there. I think he's more an 18 sack guy um, than a 20 sack guy. And I also think, Dave, it's really, really hard to get 20 sacks when everybody knows you can get 20 sacks. Like, you look at the 20 sack season guys, they usually have like one 20 sack season and never again. Um, unless they're J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt is one of the most incredible peaks that we have seen in football, where he got 20, and then got 20 again, and then got 17. That's a different person, right? Like, But when it comes to most guys, they get 20 sacks. It's hard to get 20 sacks again because once you reach a certain level of respect, nobody's ever going to move a body off of you, no matter what they do on the other side or how they move you around. So he's just not going to get – some of the benefits uh, of lesser known guys that are able to kind of get more sacks because they're not going to get paid attention to sometimes. Um, so I don't know if that's going to add up to him getting the 20 sacks. But what I do know is that his presence should help some of the other guys on the defensive line improve their sack total since the rest of the defensive line is now NFL quality. Yeah, I'm with you. The, the, the upgrade, I think um, it will – Increase the sack total, increase the pressure percentage as well, which should mean good things uh, for that defense.